Hello, this is Martha Alderson again, the Plot Whisperer, and we are now on our second plot series. This is the Plot Book Club for Writers, and any writer is invited to follow along, but I would like to especially welcome uh, NaNoWriMo writers who are wanting to pre-plot for the NaNoWriMo experience that they'll do in November. Um, so I'm, when I go through some of these exercises, I'm going to be keeping you in mind, but anybody can benefit from this. If you're writing a novel, memoir, or screenplay, these are sort of important plot elements that everybody has to consider. So um, it will be beneficial to all of you, but I just wanted a special welcome to NaNoWriMo people. So last time we talked about the universal story and sort of the structure and you had an exercise to test your own story or your ideas for a story um, in terms of the structure and I've heard from some of you and it seems as though you are getting the concepts. So now we're going to talk about the three major plot lines which I see as the dramatic action plot, the character emotional development plot, and the thematic significance plot. And there are many, many more that can be in a story, you know, like a political plot, a romance plot, a historical plot. Um, there can be lots of other subplots and plot lines, but these three really are the three most important. Um, and I like to think of the action and the character as the yin and yang of stories, that they are balanced and they're together and they both complement each other and they're so interwoven that really you can't pull them completely apart because as the character changes and grows, her choices will change, which will change the dramatic action. So, and then the dramatic action changes the character. So the two of them work together and are be very much influenced by each other. So today, um, you know, the example that we're working on is Major Pettigrew's Last Stand by Helen Simonson. And I explained why I used this um, book last time. So what I thought we'd do today is to talk about the first major plot line, which is character emotional development. What you have to figure out is who your major character is. Who is the major viewpoint character or the protagonist? And the protagonist is uh, defined as being the character that is most changed by the dramatic action. So if there's more than one character that's changed, it's the one who is the most changed. And that is the protagonist. That's the main character of the story. And that's the one that you want to be very vigilant about plotting out. Um, is, and if you're pre-plotting, to really think about the character and the development that they go through in the scope of the entire project. So for our story here, the um, protagonist is the major, Major Pettigrew. And what happens for him is that he has to transform in order to seize the prize that he wants most. And that is really what stories are all about, is character transformation. At the very least, a character changes in some way by the dramatic action, or why not? Um, and at the very most, or best, the character is actually transformed at depth. And this character really goes through a deep transformation because he really sort of star starts out as the quintessential local small village, um, you know, bloke. He's a guy in who just embodies what it takes to live in this small village. He volunteers. He's part of the hunting club. He's part of the country club or the golf club or what golf whatever it is, but he's really very much ingrained in the fabric of this small village. And then when he meets the woman that he starts to really care about, she is definitely an outsider. She is a foreigner and she's an outsider. And for him to be able to partner with her, which becomes his dream, he has to really break away from the status quo. And what's beautiful about this story is that this is what the middle of every great story does, is that the status quo tries to keep the protagonist where they've always been. Because if the protagonist changes and transforms, it messes up the whole dynamic. That means everybody has to change in order to adapt and accept or reject 
the changes in the protagonist. So it's wonderful the way that he has to learn how to embrace his own truths to sort of weed apart the things that he's been taught by his father and all the background and, and his environment and come to his own truths. Not the truths that he was um, brought up with, but the truths of his own heart in order for him to live the life that he really wants to live. So what I'd like you to do for homework or for an exercise is to number one, create a plot planner. You had the um, the basis of the plot planner last week, um, the structure, and if you want to know how to create a plot planner, you can see my new book, brand new, off the shelves, The Plot Whisperer, Secrets of Story Structure Any Writer Can Master. This takes you through all the steps to create a plot planner, and it's mostly in chapter three. Um, and then, so that you'll have a plot planner, which will be um, the rhythmic, energetic, rhythmic pattern of the universal story, but this will be for your particular story. Then on that plot planner, I want you to take some post-it notes, think about who the character is going to be at the beginning of the story, and who you envision them to be at the end of the story, so that you think about the change that they're going to undergo, and then put up a post-it note in one color, and then in the same color, put the change at the end, the last quarter. So you'll have a quarter, the middle, and, the, and a quarter um, uh, for the whole entire project. And I want you to think about the evolution, um, the characters' traits and behaviors that they exhibit at the beginning, and how those are going to evolve and change at the climax at the end. Um, there's lots of videos that cover the concept of this character emotional development plot on the first series, which is the um, How Do I Plot a Novel, Memoir, or Screenplay, and it's up on my blog, theplotwhisperer.com. Uh, uh, there's a whole directory on the side, and you can just kind of click on the ones that seem to fit for what you need to do this assignment. So. Good luck and think about your story and we will reconvene next Monday with the next step in um, our plot, uh, plot book club for writers. Thank you very much.